Prolog also offers a stochastic modeling tool called Statman, which is different from Multimin, which is deterministic and can only do up to four minerals to open Statman. Go over here. From this window, I can determine my prior matrix, which is a C point for the main matrix. I'm going to uncheck these. Right here, we're defining what our V clay, quartz, limestone, dolomite, and organic volumes are, and also our porosity for hydrocarbon, water, and bulk volume bound water. We can also determine a alternate matrix. Uh, we can use discriminating logic and our water saturation. So we're calculating all this to get effective and total porosity. So let's go back to our main matrix. I'm going to open up a log plot. This is a air log plot. I have the curves I'm going to be, these are reconstructed gamma ray and reconstructed densities, neutron and uh, U matrix. And then these are going to be the volume outputs, the delta, so the air between the reconstructed and the original curves. So I'm going to run the program, zoom in. You can see we have some error here, so we can modify the model. So if we're using trends here, I can do a minus 10. So it looks like our error is fine. So here we have a little sand relative to stonite. Here is the clay volume, bound water. Quartz, limestone, dolomite, uh, organics, oil, and free water.